Hey, 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 hey. What? what? It's me, Dan. Hi. Yeah, of, we know. Of Toad's Recall. <laughs> I'm talking to our listeners. Oh, sorry. Did you know that we have... You're talking to me? No. You're looking right I mean, at me. I'm well, listening to you right now. I don't understand. Okay, but I'm talking to our listeners. Okay, close your eyes so we know you're not talking to okay. any of us. Hey, <laughs> it's just us in this dark <laughs> sphere. But open your eyes. Go to your web browser. Oh. Type in... HTTP. No, yes? come on. Probably. No, come colon. On. Slash. Oh. Slash. Two slashes, yeah. www. God dot bless America. Page, no, there's no God bless America in the URL. <laughs> now I'm going to start over. Okay, start H-T-T-P over. HTTP. Yeah. No. Maybe. Colon. Depending on your browser. Slash. Slash. www. Dot Patreon. Dot com. Slash. Yes. Totes Recall. Yes. No. Oh. no. no. So close. So good. <laughs> Until that point. Use a combination of those letters and go to that webpage. Ooh. You will find secrets beyond your wildest <laughs> dreams. Really? Yeah. Okay. Including extra fun things that we made. Yes. And opportunities to receive a tote bag. Ooh. Ooh opportunity. Toast and opportunities. The biggest opportunity of all, supporting art and entertainment. Yeah. Which is this, you decide. But I don't have <laughs> a lot of money. I can't give you... $5,000 a month. What? Wow. How about 1000 No, I really can't. How about 500 Nope. 400 I'm sorry. Just have to go a little lower. $10. Oh, it's still too high. One dollar? Oh, yeah, I can a do month. That. Yeah, sure. Okay. I can do that a you month. know what? You still get fun. What are you calling it? Fun extra stuff. Fun that extra we do. stuff. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm in. Great. Great. Patreon.com slash totsrigal.com no. slash no. www. What are you doing? <laughs> S colon. Oh. This is an audio puzzle that you must solve. <laughs> <laughs> Recall. Welcome to Totes Recall, the podcast ah. where we talk about a movie we can't remember very well. Watch that movie while eating two pizzas and two salads. Thank yep. you, patrons. Thank you. One pizza is large this episode. One is medium. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Both salads are the same size. Are there even different size Standard options for salad? salad? No. Okay. Size. Wow. Well, same size. Like a sharing same size, size salad. Same size same salad. salad. Same size salad. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say it was a movie podcast? Yes, <laughs> and pizza and salad podcast. Come back, talk about what we learned about the movie and how much we enjoyed that pizza. My name is Dan. This is Molly. I'm also Dan. And I'm Beth. And our movie this episode, because we respect you, yes. is Clue. It's Respect Whoa. Listener Opinions Month, and that we means. have respected our list. A listener's opinion. Well, I guess multiple listeners, Yeah, right? yeah. One People listener voted. submitted it, and then multiple listeners voted on they it. They were like, yes, that one. Yeah. All month long, we will be resecting you by we'll be what? releasing... What? Dissecting, Re- dissecting you? you? Uh, all month long, we will be respecting you by releasing this one episode. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you and can like, listen to it any day of the month Yes, and once we'll, it's released. We'll like also just think of you fondly yes. throughout the month. Yeah. yeah. Like, Unless we oh. hate the movie. Well, no, because that you is You can respect someone and not fun. think of them fondly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, I... I it's just Clue. That's just the name of it. I think That's so. The whole name. Yeah, just I have Clue. Never seen this movie. I, I think I saw a preview. But you still a preview. Well, okay. Like the trailer for it. Like a trailer. Okay. And what I do you think? Uh, what do I think? I don't think there's anyone famous in it. Is that oh. wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> so there are famous people in it. I'm yeah. just gonna guess Shelley Duvall off the top of my okay, head. Okay. Wow. Right. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, big swing. And it's based on the board game. Yes. yes. So I assume there's a murder. Mm. Ooh. And it gets solved. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, it's, it probably takes place during fancy times. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what you mean, and I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, oh, I don't know. I'll be really interested to see if it passes the Bechdel-Wallace test, because it's sure. got to have at least... I don't know how many. There's Miss Myrtle. Is that a name? Wow, I don't know. No. Great, try and wow. run them all down. Yeah, yeah. let's okay. name all the characters. All right. okay. Mr. White. Okay. Yes, Ms. White. I don't know. I don't know. There's someone mustard. Johnny Mr. Butler. Mustard. <laughs> Johnny Butler. Is that real? Johnny Butler. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, 
Mr. Okay, that's three. That's the, three characters. Yeah, Mr. Is there White, a peacock, something no. mustard. There's a peacock. peacock? Yeah. Great. Uh, the purple duke. No, uh, you're making that up. Um, what else? Uh, brown. Is there a brown? The yellow king. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> brown Thomas. There's no, a brown. It's all color related, right? Uh, I don't know. Peacock's not a color. Well, it's peacock green. Oh, peacock green? Oh. Isn't there a green now? Or peacock blue, maybe. I think yeah. a peacock's is blue. Yeah, okay, peacock it's definitely blue. iridescent. Yes. Johnny iridescent. Johnny iridescent. There's a scarlet. Okay. Oh, yes. A Miss Scarlet, yeah? Yeah. Probably. And declare. yeah, green. Mr. Green? Mr. Green. Colonel Mustard. Corporal Green. Colonel Mustard. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's probably all of them. We probably nailed it. It's There's like seven. There's green. six of them, right? There's six. Chief Executive Officer Green. And then the <laughs> butler. Six and the butler? Yeah. I don't think Brown's one of them, though. Oh, is that? Do you have Brown in there? One, two, three, four, I think that was mine. I wrote down seven that I didn't think were jokes from Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you guys um, are going to be so. <laughs> oh, there is a purple one, but it's not. It's not purple. It's Violet Plum. Plum. Violet Plum. Professor Plum. Yes. Professor Plum. That sounds right. Whatever. Uh, and there's a candlestick. Oh, great. Uh, a a knife. Okay. Uh-huh. A gun. Okay. Now I feel like oh, we're just rope. like. Remembering the game. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the whole point of this movie? I guess so. Uh, uh, that's four things. That seems like enough to kill a somebody. Ghost, with. lead pipe, yeah, oh. vicious attack owl in the library. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, vicious. come on. But what do you think happens in the movie? Oh, somebody falls in love. Okay. Wow. Oh, I like that. And somebody solves a murder. Bold. Do you uh, think there are uh, foibles? Foibles? Yeah. Like antics or yeah. like, yeah. I bet there's going to be some antics. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Is this like slapdash and over the top or is it played? I cool? remember this movie. I don't remember it super well, but I remember it being the kind of movie where if there were a scene where a bunch of the actors left a room quickly, there might be like a sound. Oh. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> I watched this movie a lot as a kid. Oh, oh really? Great. Yeah. This that, is that's this... the clue, like theme song, right? Yeah, maybe. It's like they, because Johnny Butler yep. is like taking them through all the steps. In Played the by half of Tim famous actor Curry. Yes. Tom Curry. Tim, Tim Curry. Curry. Tim Curry. Oh. The Purple Duke. The Purple Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Montana. Is he the one that wanted to see Montana in what? A Red October? I never got to see Montana. Tim Curry's in that movie? Yeah. Were you Dracula? also a Dracula? <laughs> I mean, Tim Curry. He's Russian. I feel like Tim Curry is always like low key playing a Dracula, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I love Tim Curry. Yeah. He's so weird. He's yeah. very weird. He's got a pretty funny Twitter where he is mean to people. Really? <laughs> yeah. Usually it's like people like not knowing who he is. And he's like, why did you tweet at me if you don't know who I am? <laughs> Go away. I'll suck your blood. Um, yeah. We watched a lot. So he's like takes them through because it's like someone gets murdered. Mr. Body. Uh, that's the murder victim. That's funny. Mr. Body? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's rude. It's a professional wrestler. Oh. Mm-hmm. And he's dead early. Yeah, like when they get there, right? No. What? Not no. when they get there. But the, you never see him. Don't the lights have to go no, out? No, I think all you sudden? do. Doesn't Mr. You Body do? come in and be like, welcome to Body Mansion? I'm here to g- announce my run for governor, and you're all. I feel oh, like Christopher they... Lloyd? What? I think he's in it. I think he's Professor Plum and he's a creep. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running through. I believe he arrives with Miss Scarlet or Mrs. White, yeah. who's a hottie. Yeah. And he like just full on grabs her butt while they're waiting for the door to open. No, not appropriate. <laughs> I feel like if I, from what I remember this movie, there's a lot of inappropriate behavior towards women because it's a... Comedy. Oh, it's yeah. a comedy. I'm putting that in Is quotes. it directed by somebody famous? Great question. I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot of. It's a romp. This yeah. is a zany it's romp. Antic. Definitely a romp. But isn't there like a like a sexy maid that everybody is? Oh, the maid. Very attracted oh, to. Yes. Yeah. There's something. also a maid. But yeah. she's not. She's not the Mrs. White, right? No. Oh. She. A lot of people get murdered. Is it's she not just Mr. Lady Body? Maid, yeah, really. Peacock maid or something. No, She's I don't just think maids. any of the named people are murdered. Oh. It's like Mr. Body dies, and then, and then the maid. The hot maid dies. Whoa, Whoa spoilers. spoilers. I mean, how sad? do we want to do this show? <laughs> I 
I don't think it's going to be sad. Uh, is there any animal harm? I don't think there are any animals, unless there's like a snake or something like that. I feel like a it might be a weird bird. wealthy person would a have in their weird house. Bird? <laughs> it's quite sad, weird bird. Weird <laughs> bird. Like a thousand percent a lightning storm. Yeah. yeah. Right. The lights go out at some point. Say I predict. I feel that. like it's like if you went to like a murder mystery, like party party yeah. like oh. this movie is either based off of that or the, the parties are based off of clue <laughs> sure yeah it's like the most high budget murder mystery party you could go to and you're you're kind of invited like you're more just like yeah you can open the window and watch i guess if you yeah want. everybody gets an invite that's how they get there right but they don't know why oh they're maybe being blackmailed mm. so like agatha christie yeah that's sure. actually is an agatha christie novel mm-hmm Okay, yeah. I don't know if I've read any Agatha Christie. I don't. I think I, I definitely haven't. I watched that train one. Which one? There's like eight of them. The Orient which, Express? That one. But mm. which one of those? The one uh, that people like. Not the recent one with uh, Johnny. What's his name? Butler? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the older one. There's eight of those? I, there's at least three. I've seen the classic 70s one. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Okay, great. Oh, so when was this movie made? Ooh, I'm going to say 1983. Whoa. Wow. I'm going to say 87. Wow. I know, so I'm going to abstain. Oh, right. But do you want to do like well, Molly and say what yeah. year you thought it was going to be before you learned what it was? Yeah. Hmm. 2001. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, so my logic is in 83, I was in third grade. Okay. And in 87, I was in seventh grade. Love it. And I'd be more aware of a movie, let's say if I'm in middle school watching television mm-hmm. that's not children's television, where they would have an ad for this movie. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say 1986. Do you think they would be advertising in like Reader's Digest or oh, right. whatever <laughs> magazines you're subscribing to? <laughs> Green, oh, if they the did, no, they, it's mostly just 60 Minutes. They um, might talk about it on 60 Minutes. <laughs> like, a have. beloved board game <laughs> has been turned into a feature film. Uh, I don't remember who was on 60 Minutes back then. Oh, well, it's the same It sounded people. exactly who it was. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Andy Rooney? I'm yeah. news. What's the deal with... Nope, that's not him. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, not... I mean, I... I thought this movie was a lot of fun, but like yeah. not much happens. It's like there's antics. There's antics. People get murdered like, like over the course of the movie, and yeah. then they figure it out at the end. It's a lot of like physical comedy, yeah. right? Oh, Madeline a, Kahn is in it. Oh, she's a delight. Oh, nice. That's, there are other famous people in it, but I can't remember who else. Yes, the guy who plays Mustard. I see him a lot. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Martin Wait, Mall, is that right? He was like the principal on Boy Meets World. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Did I make that up? No, that might he was be the principal on a different show. Okay, that's my bet. Which he was one? a principal, principal in Boy Meets World. Okay. Mr. Feeney, right? I am gonna aggressively take the opposite of that, and that this guy was a principal in a different TV <laughs> show. <laughs> Because the yeah. guy who played Feeney played John Adams in the film version of 1776, and that is not who is in this movie. Wow, nerd! nerd. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you're right. I I don't know. Who, I don't know who it is. I you can't, took a bet. I did. It's fine. I bet he wears round glasses as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. I take that bet. Okay. Um, there's a funny scene where the lights have gone out, mm-hmm. and Tim Curry and maybe Madeline Kahn are running around in the dark, and he opens the door. And then he runs into what he thinks is another door, and he goes, another door? But it's a shower. <laughs> so he gets all wet. Oh, oh. no. So the shower is on? running? No, because he thinks the shower handle oh, is a door like handle. Oh, he's going to turn oh. the doorknob. That's pretty good. That is good. Like that line reading is burned into my brain. Another door? What's this? Another door? How many is times it, did you watch it? Probably 20 to 50. Was it wow. on VHS? Like, what was the deal? Yeah, we, my dad recorded it off <laughs> yeah. our cable that yeah. he negotiated to not pay for. Uh, <laughs> and we watched it over and over on a VHS tape. Nice. I loved it. What, was, were there a lot of movies that you watched like that? Or is this sort of yeah. singular? We had a, I mean, we watched a lot of movies. Healthy but the, collection. But we also had like a tight, 20 that we watched over and over. Like this one, um, the Star Wars movies. Yep. 
I don't know, some other stuff. Indiana Jones is. is. Sure. Mm-hmm. Probably some other movies you've mentioned on this show. Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. We've watched other ones on here. Uh, I just don't Clue remember before you talking about watching something like 20 times. Yeah. This was one of them. Wow. Wow. Formative. Wow. I hope this movie holds up, huh? It won't. I'm really worried it won't <laughs> once I realize how, how, once I get pictured how big of a butt grab Christopher Lloyd was. <laughs> and I'm like, Do you think uh, it makes like a honk noise when he does it? <laughs> God, I mean, that would make it better. At least that would be like, okay, we're a cartoon. That's fine. I feel like there's going to be a lot of <laughs> jokes in this movie that are just like, oh, that woman certainly has breasts. Oh, dear. I can I, tell you I've seen this movie within the last, like, five years. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I did not like it. Okay. Oh. I saw it for the first time a couple years ago, and I remember just being like, huh, what a weird, dumb movie. <laughs> I don't yeah. remember like being like, oh, this sucks, but I remember being like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess, yeah. yeah. When I say I didn't like it, I just mean like I was like, yeah, I don't ever need to see that again. Yeah, unless we watch it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I mean, listener, but I respect respecting you so much. so much. I respect yeah, you so much. I, I suspect this is a movie that you like lock into when you're eight years old, mm-hmm. and you're like, I love this movie, and <laughs> you never watch it as an adult, or maybe you do it, you have nostalgia. But if you don't watch it when you're a child, it's not going to do it for you. Sorry, yeah. Molly. No, that's okay. Can we talk about how the movie has multiple endings? We can't talk about that. Like, so when I saw it, it had three different endings. What I, format did you see it in? Uh, DVD, maybe? Like, were they playing them or you could just select them? I think that it just played three in a row. Okay. It was like, or it happened like this. Yeah. Like, I feel like it was like, oh. that's how it was shown like it never like just like stopped and then started a new one like mm-hmm. it like flowed into each other yeah mm-hmm. it like but yeah it like ends and then it plays the yeah. and it's like that's not really how it happened and it does that a couple times then it's like but this is how it really happened so when they aired the movie in theaters though they aired just one ending yeah so then for when they released it they had to do a different edit so all three were included yeah right. i think so i believe that is true that's interesting did they have <laughs> different <laughs> endings in different markets i think so i don't know how or it's just random i don't know yeah wow that's I, pretty cool. I wonder if it was like different theaters in the same city got it, so, so you saw it at like different theaters to see it. the different ending. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. would be the best marketing choice. Yeah. Is like make it so people could see all the endings yeah. in yeah. their town. Yeah. I don't know. Tweet at us, <laughs> producers of Clue. Yeah. <laughs> or Jerry Bruckheimer. What? You think what? Bruckheimer produced this? This is too early for Bruckheimer. Unless this was his first movie. He's just like, hey, what if he grabbed her butt before they <laughs> yeah. got in the door? Right? She's a French yeah. maid. Yeah. Look at all her curves. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is meow. the second movie that we've watched based off of, well, no. What? I was going to say it's the second movie we watched based off of a board game, but Jumanji's not really based off of a board game. It's based off of a book about a board game. Oh, oh. right. So it's board game centric. Yeah. Adjacent. Adjacent. Are there any other board game movies? Battleship. Battleship. <laughs> Is that really like based off of the game Battleship? Yes. I thought yeah. it just had the same name. No, no. They had to license that name from Hasbro. But that it's like Aliens Attack, right? Yeah. Like it ha- well, I mean, not... there's no plot to the game, but there aren't aliens in but it. But they literally did it just so people would be like, oh, I played that. My brain is responding to that nostalgia. But there's yeah. never been like an attempt at Monopoly. Ooh. Maybe. Woodwatch. Would would you? <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's the Wolves of Wall Street. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Is it going to pass the Bechtel Wallace? Like, oh, there's multiple women. I hope so. so. I think so. And like they have names. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they very that's explicitly have names. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think it will. Okay. Yeah. I bet there's It at might least... be like about murder, but yeah. yeah I... As long as they're talking about the murder and not the man who was murdered. Yes. Oh, he mm-hmm. was so handsome. Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. That but some count. women get murdered too. Yes. Oh, Equality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It very be, progressive for an 80s. Even. I can think of two women that get murdered. Oh, in this wow. Movie. Wow. So wow. the chance of Bechdel Wallace just goes down further and further as the movie <laughs> so goes So they down. have to get it done early. <laughs> so that yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And we're done. I am Peacock. I am the Purple Duchess. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of Pipes. <laughs> yep. There that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, great. What else? I don't know. I really think half the movie is just them like running into one room, uh, encountering something, and then having to leave that room again. What do you think the best joke is going to be? I mean, we've already spoiled that butt grab. <laughs> the butt grab's good. No, uh, another door. That's the one that made me laugh I mean, that a lot. That sounds pretty good. There's also Madeline Kahn's got a delivery 
of she's talking about an ex-husband and like people are insinuating that maybe she killed all her ex-husbands. Oh. And she's talking about how angry she is and she talks about the flames on the side of her face and she like is starting to go into a monologue and then gets cut off right away. That's a pretty good joke. I feel yeah, like women talking is yeah. boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I have another bet that I'm going to love everything Madeline Kahn does. Yeah. I'll double down on that. Bet. She's amazing. She's great. Cool. So we think Shelley Duvall probably isn't in this. She might be. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? She could be a uh, peacock. Yeah. Yeah. They're all famous people, but I don't, I can't think of anybody's names. That's on brand for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like there's a gag. I feel like there's a good gag near the end where they're like figuring out, figuring it out where one person keeps like having the same dramatic reaction, even though they've already started explaining things multiple times. Right. Oh yeah. There's some, um, I guess transphobia in this movie mm. where they're confusing people's genders and that's a joke. How are they doing that? It's like someone's talking real fast, and then someone's like, Mrs. Peacock was a man? Because they it's misheard light, them? It's light transphobia. Oh. Hmm. But that's a confusion that happens. I don't remember liking that as a kid, because the delivery is real good. Sure. Like they're... I'm sh- I mean, these sound like all professional comic actors, yeah. so I'm sure the delivery is... Ooh, there is... Um, not to give too much away, but I think there's going to be a very good crusty old lawman that comes in at the very yeah. end. I'll, I'll, I'll put it at that. I bet we're going to be delighted by this character. Great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I am too. That's a high, that's a bold bet that we're yeah. all going to be delighted by a specific character's entrance. <laughs> yeah, right at the end. He's good. What are the other good jokes? <laughs> they talk about chilled monkeys' brains No, they a lot. don't. Come on. Yeah, they talk about chilled monkeys' brains. Really? It's an important thing. Uh, it's something about how it's big and Cantonese mm. cuisine, but so, not found in DC. It's a big plot point. The cook gets murdered. Oh. She's a lady. Wow. Spoiler. So which came oh. first, this movie or the Indiana Jones movie? Oh. So it's like a big laugh in the second Indiana Jones movie. Oh, that people are eating chilled monkey's brains? Well, that the lady doesn't want to eat the chilled monkey's brains. I don't know. Okay. Good. Hmm. Great talk. I think this came first. <laughs> okay. All right. How old's this board game, though, right? Ooh, great this question. Is, Ooh, this board game come out? That's my guess. You think the board game's only been out for like a few years for the movie? They're like, okay. this board game is catching fire. <laughs> yeah. Make this, a film. This is hot. We got to... We gotta... I don't know. It seems like it's an 80s game. I'm going to say 1955. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, 1959. I'm going to say 73. Great. Well, I, like I can't wait to look that up. A broad spread. I like it. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> that was much more exciting than what year the movie came yeah. out. Yeah. We should always bet on board game years. <laughs> 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 Whatever board game seems tangentially related to the yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I am really nervous that I don't know what I'm going to give this, but uh, I think we need to give it a rating system. Yeah. And that rating system is. Uh, Peacock Blue Antics. Peacock Blue Antics. Yeah, so how many do you think you're going to give this film? So are these antics that are the color peacock blue, or are these like a peacock yeah. performing antics? It's like that are the blue. peacock <laughs> blue man group version of antics set in Whoa. fancy times. Wow. Oh, wow. This sounds like an incredible show, actually, <laughs> whatever that is. Let's watch that one. I'd pay money for that. Would watch over whatever dumb movie Dan said he'd watch. What was it? Monopoly? Oh, the Monopoly movie. Come on. You don't want to see that guy with a little uh, hat? Uncle Moneybags or whatever? Yeah. Oh, he's just going to be like Fred Trump or something. Oh, I'm like, oh, okay, let's undercut that. the city property <laughs> there's, taxes. There's the shoe and the thimble. <laughs> the dog would be cute. The dog Scotty dog, okay. isn't it? That dog yeah, that dog be would be the best right. part. Uh, it would be the best part. Until it goes to jail. Oh, God. That's For not paying place. taxes? Correct. Property taxes. Property taxes? Yeah. Oh. Uh, but hey, they get married. Or, I don't remember. I haven't played the game in a while. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think this movie is going to be a disappointment. <laughs> and I'm going to say two Peacock Blue Antics. Wow, that's low. It is low. But I- I'm keeping my expectations low. Maybe I'll be delighted by that butt grab. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> um, actually, I was also going to give it two, but then you reminded me of the butt grab, so I'm going to go back down to one. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I I don't re- I just don't remember liking it. So I think it's like the idea of it is fun, but it just doesn't I don't know. It's not it's not my bag. It's of its time. Sure, yeah. Well, I'm going to give it a 4. Yeah. Whoa. I think I would be overwhelmed with the joys of youth. <laughs> <laughs> and only my mildly sad by the misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Check my privilege. I'm going to give it a cowardly three. Nice. Oh. And the reason is that our readers picked out this movie. Not our readers, our listeners. <laughs> mm-hmm. Our listeners picked out the movie. And you respect so them. So I respect them, mm-hmm. and I think... They must have thought this was a fun romp, or they remember it that way. So I am going to try to watch it with that lens on Sure. before I ultimately get dragged down by the misogyny and how boring it probably is. (laughs) (laughs) I do feel like some of our listeners take Respect Listener Opinions Month and mutate it into what shitty movie can I try to make them watch month? (laughs) Yeah. So like, I feel like we could go either way. Well, mm. somebody genuinely loves it. Yeah. I've got to believe. Okay. And I'm here for you, I mean, you, Dan might listener. be that person. I might be. I had no idea. I had no idea this was a 20-something movie for you. Yeah. All wow. the time. Popcorn and apples. What? Mixed together? What? This is new. One bowl? This is a classic Jaquette household, dad's house. Okay. Molly, my parents were divorced. <laughs> um, <laughs> we would watch a movie and have popcorn and apples for dinner. In one dish? No. Okay. You have a bowl of popcorn yeah. and a plate of apple slices. Like slices. Like slices. Yeah. Like like uh, wedges. Yeah. What else? Huh. What other ways you slice apples? Oh, it can be fun to slice them just uh, in slices like very thin bread slices. It's a better platform. Bread for slices. Mm-hmm. What do like, you mean bread? Like a sli- vertical slice. Yeah. What's a bread? Like sli- explain multiple, to me what a bread slice is. Well, just imagine that the apple is a loaf of bread. Yeah. So what Beth's saying? Yeah, but they're thinner than a loaf of bread. Well, I know an apple is thinner than a loaf of bread well, when no, it's but vertical. The slices would be thinner. So yeah. then you have these beautiful. Otherwise, you only have like two slices. Thin slices, uh-huh. and then it's perfect because it's about the same height as your cheese. And then when you place the cheese on top of the apple, what kind you of cheese are we talking about here? I like a cheddar, uh-huh. but I'm pretty open. Cheddar so this is like just apple yeah. and cheese. Like Wait, the, are you questioning the, cheddar and apple right now? Oh my god! I mean, I kind of am, but just because yeah. I have no what? idea. What? I'm not saying. Ew, gross. I'm saying I have no idea what this experience is like. Okay, well, we are going to fix this. Like a sharp cheddar? I wouldn't want a sharp cheese with an apple. Or yeah. Like a mild oh, it's like cheddar. the best thing in the entire world. The it's contrast. such a good snack. Yes. And sometimes with a little peanut butter on it. Oh, oh, I'm on board for that. Peanut butter and apple? Forget about it. No, peanut butter, <laughs> apple, and cheddar. I don't know. Yeah. I'll try it. So we're saying like <laughs> the apple it. serves the perp- the role of the cracker. The role of the cracker is played oh. by the apple yes, in this situation. Yes, but it's more than that. It's like saying that... I just uh, mean like mechanics. Julia of it. Roberts is playing the role of Ma. I just mean like the <laughs> mechanics of the snack. The apple is playing the traditional role of the cracker. I mean, sure. I understand. You could turn it upside down and put the apple on top, and of then the, the cheese, cheese is cheese playing the, the role bottom? of the cracker. Sure. Yeah, and sure. the apple is playing the cheese. No, you want the. I mean, you want the apple on the bottom. Why? Because the cheese is gonna get oily. Like the apple is easier to hold. Uh huh. That's true. Yeah. Unless it's too you thin. Unless you slice too thin. can also make a little mini sandwich. Oh. Yeah. Using two thin apple slices sandy. of apple mm-hmm. with a slice. And you know, all cheeses work. Like do you they, though? You can also do a very nice blue cheese. What about you a brie? A brie, brie would be would great. Be delicious. That's what I was thinking. What about yeah. like a pepper jack? That Ooh, I need a pepper spicy. jack. I like Colby. a spicy cheese. Yeah. That could be very Swiss. interesting. You know, How about Swiss? a mozzarella? Hey. I guess. Hey. I think the lighter, I think what makes it work is the zing of the cheese mm-hmm. next to the sweetness of the apple. Yes, agree. So you would not go for like a very tart apple. I mean, if you go tart apple, then you need to go brie cheese. Got mm-hmm. it. I mean, that's just understood. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like, you know, for our next record, I will make sure we have apples and, and cheddar. cheese. And peanut yeah. butter? I'm making it, a, maybe. Huh, just, just to try it. it. Okay. Well, our listeners have that to look forward to. Thank you for <laughs> indulging in that. We respect you so much. <laughs> Apple talk. Yes, you, that's what you came for. <laughs> and with that, uh, we're going to press pause or the space bar. Uh, we're going to go watch the movie Clue based on the board game Clue, and we'll be right back. Um, um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 um,
back. We just watched 96 minutes of a romp. Yeah. Uh-huh. Antics. Ant- so many antics. So just full of antics and physical comedy. Probably some nostalgia for people who saw it before. And murder. And murder. murder. Lots of murder. I will say just tons of murder. I mean, yeah. it is it is based on a, <laughs> a who did a murder board game. Yeah. They yeah. didn't really ever come back to the dogs. P.S. They're dogs right away. Three dogs. I mean, they were just sort of like a... Uh, they were like just like a all the doors have been locked excuse of this like yeah but why can't they just on, break the through windows are no problem they also what do you gave mean? us our first first bits oh joke. sorry poop poop oh yeah he stepped in poop I and then everyone thought they, stepped in, they poop. stepped in poop oh and we forgot to summarize the movies for uh, the movie uh, oh yeah. shit one. 60 okay. second summary yeah who's gonna do it uh i'll do it okay okay Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Shoot. Okay. This is literal. This is a literal segment yeah. title. Yeah. Go. Okay. It's raining a bunch, and <laughs> Tim Curry's coming to the house. You too, too much. It's too much detail. Oh, okay. And what are you doing? You're just making him waste time. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the game. Everybody, you have to not be everybody arrives, and they have dinner. And oh, no, all the people are being blackmailed. So then. There's a bunch of murder weapons. Mr. Body's dead. Then he's not dead. Then the cook's dead. Then Mr. Body is for sure actually dead. Mm -hmm. And then a couple other people die. There's some handsy men. Everybody's looking around. (laughs) The physical comedy is great. And in the end, there are three endings. (laughs) And this is... Ten seconds. Scarlet kills them all, but maybe it's Mrs. White. No, and then in the end, the real end, almost everybody kills everybody except Mr. Green, who time. is the FBI. Oh, nice! Oh, wow, oh. they lost all oh. that time at the beginning. Yeah. Huh? yeah man. <laughs> Jeez. Describing Sorry. the weather, like, <laughs> come on, come on. You gotta get. You gotta hook them in. That's true. <laughs> weather. When, it's and, raining. When I when I'm. When someone says like, "Oh, I just saw this movie. It was really good." My first question is always, "What's the weather like at yeah. the beginning?" <laughs> Initial weather. <laughs> Initial yeah. weather of the movie. <laughs> and that's when I say either I gotta go see this movie or mm, no, thank you. Maybe if it was raining. <laughs> um, Maybe if it was raining, <laughs> it has to be raining. I mean, that's the best movie weather. You don't go to any movie unless it's raining. I'm just saying that's. I always go to a raining movie. <laughs> That's 100%. Name a movie that starts raining that's not top notch. Well, there's got to be plenty, right? I mean, I feel like Alcatraz, no, The Rock does. It rains at the beginning? There's just a lot of rain in it. Well, it's initial weather. Yeah, we're talking about initial weather. Oh, then I got nothing. Okay. Here's what you did got. Nailed it. Segway. (laughs) Um, For your initial bets on this movie, by who you had never seen it. Right. Shelley Duvall's in it. That's not right. That's not true. Based on a board game. Nailed it. Crushed it. A murder has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. A lots of murders has happened. Yeah. Uh, it takes place during fancy times. Is that what you were thinking well, of? Yeah, what fancy did you mean times? by fancy times? Okay. In my mind, it was like Great Gatsby flapper era, mm. but it was not. It was very clearly 50s post-World post-war. War II. Yeah. Two. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But everybody is fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, the fanciness was really over the top. Top notch. Mm-hmm. Because that's the thing. Like, if I were to get invited to dinner, I don't know that I would put on my fanciest outfit. Aren't but maybe in the 50s, you only had fancy or at-home dungarees. You had, like, your dinner outfits, and they're all fancy, right? Oh, I guess so. Aren't they all rich, too? But, yeah, they're, like, fancy people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that solved that very short, boring mystery. Yep. What else? Uh, people fall in love. Eh, no, opposite of There's that. A lot of lust happening. Yeah, unrequited lust mm. and some boundary setting that I appreciated. Yes. Mm-hmm. And there's antics. Tons of antics. Oh, I underestimated the full anticness of this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... Also, like a lot of vaudevillian back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was very charming. I really enjoyed that part. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I was really here for. The <laughs> snappy dialogue. Uh huh. It's just like everybody's really nailing it. I literally, in my notes for watching the movie, I literally just wrote, 
Zingers! Oh. Exclamation point in all caps and then underlined it severely. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because that was my reaction to like the first 25 minutes of this movie. It's a Cracker Jack script. Cracker Jack. For sure. For sure. I also, I was, there's a lot of bits in this there movie. Like, this bits. movie's just bits. It's all bits. It's like we got the poop. He smells, he steps in the poop, bummer. And then everybody thinks they have poop on the shoe. They yep. do that like six times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just like really hit over and over the different things that they do. Mm-hmm. Michael McKean keeps spilling his drink on people. It's pretty funny. And then falling I down. That. I enjoyed that a lot. A lot. Yeah. Uh, there was that great moment where uh, Colonel Mustard just like very tensely opens the door and then just gets clocked in the head with an ironing board. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So good. It's great. really good. Yeah, the physical comedy, great. That's the whole movie? Yes. Kind of. I feel like that's what carries the movie. Yeah. And then I think the most impressive, for me anyway, is when they're all running down the hallways and two sets of people just like collide. That was amazing. And I don't think they're stunt doubles. No, I think that was, I think they were all like. Because they were all coming from different stairwells. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like so many comedic actors have injuries. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that was a big pratfall, like a whole series of them. Yeah. Michael McKean, like his legs just oh, like man. fly in the air. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah it really is lovely. Mo. Oh, we should say, because I brought up in the first half, that the director of this movie was Jonathan Lynn, who was also a co-writer. What I did, don't know who he is, what, but... What did we bring up at the... Oh, well, I was like, is there a famous director? Oh. And I, I put see. you all on the spot and you didn't know. No, because. I, who would know? I mean, I bet there are listeners who know that. And, and I, I sorry, Lynn heads. Sorry, <laughs> Lynn heads out there. Oh, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, I just want to come back to that because, yeah, I always think it's interesting when a director also is a writer. Mm-hmm. Co written by Co-written. John Landis. Yeah. Yes. Who made Werewolf Movie and oh, yeah. other movies. <laughs> sorry, fans of John Landis. Oh, Land wow. House. Wow. wow. Oh, those Landis heads. Yep. 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 I had bet that there would be a full butt grab by <laughs> Professor Plum. I mean, there was, but not the one you're thinking of. No, no. I was thinking like a, like a squeeze. Yeah. No, and it was, it's more of like a lot of resting hands. Kind of a yeah. pat. Mm-hmm. But like multiple times, not oh. just at the door. He also does it to the cook. I think that was the dead. full butt grab. I would argue that was actually a full butt grab because at that point they're comedically trying to set her up on the couch and he sort of has to like brace himself. Sure, sure. But yeah. then he just leaves his hand there. Well, then he rests yeah. his hand on the butt. Yes. There was a lot of butt touching. A lot of butt touching. A lot of butt touching. Which, like, okay, I'm going to maybe take a controversial stance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Go for it. Butt touching can be funny, but, like, let's spread it around a little. Make some egalitarian choices with your butt related comedy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if there was a scene in this movie where Martin Mull was trying to like push Professor Plum up into a crawl space or something, and just like there was something about their his butt, it probably would have been pretty funny, right? Given yeah. the right context, butt touching can be funny. <laughs> sure, Give I'm just the right saying context. there are ways to play it. There's room for butt related comedy, yeah. but also. Mm-hmm. This movie was made in 1983, and the joke in 1983 is, LOL, women are being sexually like harassed and assaulted, right? Yeah. There was a lot of like, I mean, all the women were also had agency and were like, stop. Yes. Like, they all said stop. It wasn't just like, oh, that, I guess that happened, and I have to deal with that forever. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, um, but yeah, there was a lot of that, and just a lot of like, gazing there's a lot of gazing happening <laughs> oh, at yeah. butts as they walked away and then um the maid um yvette mm-hmm. like i mean her her top half <laughs> is out of her top yeah like it's just there's a lot of it's like renaissance fair. it's like yeah it's there's absurd. a lot of cleavage I mean, it's, happening it's yeah. like and there's a lot of staring happening yeah. everybody's trying to get their face in there yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> professor plum at one point like she's like pouring soup and he just like turns his head <laughs> oh yeah, I Yikes. mean, Plum was the most overt. Yeah, he was Professor Creep. Yeah, he was yeah. Creep Supreme in the movie. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, I just want to go back. I don't think it was eighty three. I think it was eighty five. That's true. That this movie yeah. was made. Oh right, you guessed. That I was, apologize. You guessed, Bet I guess eighty six, which was the closest. <sighs> yeah, I, I guess two thousand one. Oh, but then the board game. I was totally wrong about that. I think I said eighty. You said 80, uh, I said 73, Beth said 59, Dan said 55, 
I think we looked it up. It was 47? Correct. Right. Boom. Wow. Yeah. So. It, the article that I read the headline the to <laughs> <laughs> said that it was developed during World War II air raids because people were bored because they had to sit in the dark all the time. Mm. How do you play this in the dark? How do you play I mean, by the candlelight or whatever. They would block their windows. Uh, okay. right? Low light, not moving around much. Yeah. Yeah. They'd yeah. probably just like talk it out, right? To be like a dungeon master, basically. Sure. You know, of like, oh, yeah. Professor Plum's come through the <laughs> parlor door, and, uh, uh, and then the air raid sirens happen, and they all panic and consider like the horrors of imperialism and centuries of uh, <laughs> governments changing hands, and Have just the ever... horrors of Western civilization. But then the air raid sirens go off, and they go back to, oh, I think it was the maid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That sounds like as fun as when I've tried to play Clue. Yeah. <laughs> we, I don't know that I've ever played it. Really. Oh, really? I played it. I, I didn't have not. think it was that fun. We also played Clue a lot. While watching oh, the movie? wow. I don't think we ever did that. That yeah, would have been some insane synergy. apple juice all over the game. Yeah, you would. Yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't having apple juice. But you've been touching apples. Come yeah, like the juice from How the apple. How juicy do you think my apples are? Well, my hands are okay. just like. I thought you grew up in the wonderful exotic world of California, yeah, where fruit is plentiful and crisp. beautiful. There's no juice in a crisp apple. There's juice, but it's not getting all over your hands. It's contained nicely. I feel in like the... it depends on what kind of apple. Yeah, you have. Okay. and how you're eating it. Yeah. If I got cheese all over there, maybe <laughs> the cheese would absorb the juice. <laughs> But, uh, so, but you played Clue separately of watching Separately. We did a okay. lot. And my, my dad always just crushed us <laughs> at Clue. Because you were bad liars? Yeah. How does the game even work? I oh, there's no line. It. Oh, okay. This is how the game Clue works. <laughs> okay. oh um, there's a secret um, location and weapon. Oh, and it goes murderer. in an envelope. In the envelope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's selected at random. So no one knows it. And then all the rest of the cards that have those attributes are distributed to the people so you only know like a subset of what is not in the envelope and then you take your little person and you go room to room and you can only guess you like say hey do you have these three things (laughs) this peacock (laughs) rope and now i'm in the library and you Uh ask someone and if they have to show you one of those cards if they have one of those cards okay and then you know that card is not the murder weapon. Got it. The a game of elimination. Uh, <laughs> That's exactly yeah. it. And so my brother and I, as children, just played like I saw the card, I didn't see the card. But my dad was playing the next level of like he showed him one of those three possibilities mm-hmm. and like had a whole system set up. He was yeah. the Wadsworth of your game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so he would always win. Did that the sounds really fun. Yeah, it does sound really fun to get yeah, we liked it. trounced by your <laughs> uh, authority figure every time. Um, <laughs> did the game ever inspire the watching of the film or vice versa I don't think so okay. I don't think we were ever just like oh fuck yeah <laughs> that Fucking clue, clue. <laughs> was so good let's keep this train rolling and pop that VHS in dad <laughs> I don't believe that ever happened okay just check it yeah um, but yeah I liked it I liked the film I liked the board game we were a clue house I guess so yeah <laughs> jeez uh, we guessed, I think we nailed it, all the people, pretty much. I mean, so, I, cr- yeah. I crushed it. You crushed for it. For sure. Ugh. And all the weapons. Those are boring votes. Um, <laughs> I wow, didn't... we did forget the wrench, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Probably wrench. wrench heads out there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also, like a lot of just bludgeoning items. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like... I, I think I said something uh, when we were watching the movie, like as people are opening it, it's like, okay, a candlestick. That's, mm-hmm. I mean, that could actually be kind of a nice gift. It's like yeah, a sure. fancy gold, <laughs> gold candlestick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they, it's like, okay, a rope. I mean, I, mean, I helpful, don't know. Practical, yeah, sure. yeah. Um, okay, now there's like a like a revolver. <laughs> like <laughs> someone got a gun in their <laughs> box. I have a question about. Oh, I do too. I bet it's the same one. Go about ahead. the gift yes. scene. Yes. Yeah. So okay, so let's like. Go out of the mansion for a second and stop me if you are you were going in a completely different direction. Let's go, like, everyone's already at the mansion, right? Except for Mr. Body. Mm-hmm. Or I guess this is, like, days earlier. Mr. Body gets this letter or whatever. It's just like, hey, come to the house. We're going to do this, whatever. And he says to himself, I know how I can be the master manipulator of this situation. I will gift wrap these random <laughs> objects, some of which are clearly actual weapons, but some of which are, like, 
maybe just junk just around, the house, around right? the house. Just you have around the house. Yeah. Well, a lead pipe? I love it. Well, like, I love the randomness of the assignment of the weapons. Because right? at first when he was passing out the gifts, which are wrapped in black with a beautiful yes. ribbon. Like, see, he may very, have had those professionally really? wrapped. I know, they looked very nice. And each box is like the perfect size for yeah. the item. Like yeah. he had to like go to a store and be like, <laughs> okay, so the revolver is this size and we need, yeah. Like yeah. he that spent shape. time because they on did this. not have Amazon at that point. No. no. He had to go to a department store for yeah. this. <laughs> but but then I think he must have just given them out at random. Right? Or do you think he was really like, oh no, I've saved the candlestick for um, one of the characters. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anybody's name. Miss I Scarlet. mean, the purple dude. Scarlet. Yeah. He yeah. must have needed the boxes to be different sizes to know what, what was in the box. So maybe he had the boxes and then he went around his house and looked for stuff that would fit in. <laughs> he already like, had oh. the boxes? <laughs> this is heavy enough to kill someone. I love it. That in I there. six fancy boxes. I, I mean, love the idea. With a lead pipe. Like, you would have to just take that out of your regular piping, right? Or maybe he was, like, down in his basement. He's just like, ah, it's fucking last tenant just left this loose plumbing after they remodeled. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, yeah. Maybe yeah. he had a girlfriend who worked at the container store. Like, and she just left a bunch of beautifully. Right. But we know also that from the end, like, the real ending, mm-hmm. that ending C. he was actually the butler yeah right so in theory mr body who was wadsworth what's his name yeah yeah all this is correct uh was like i need you to do this and maybe he's just like a good butler oh and he was just like (laughs) he was like well they should at least be wrapped yeah right so you're saying you're saying that wadsworth the true mr body was like okay just come in Give them all one of the weapons. Like, that's yeah. it. Those are the instructions. <laughs> yes. Give them all weapons. But Mr. Body was like, well, there's got to be a little panache to it. A little... Yeah. yeah. Where it's a dinner party. Yeah. For yeah. God's sake. Nobody likes an unwrapped gift. That's true. Right. Especially if it's just like garbage from yeah. the house. Because it was like a rusty wrench. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like a new wrench. It's probably the one the old tenant used to loosen those pipes. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just very confusing to me. It's like, just because it was set up, it's just like, oh, I brought this bag very deliberately. And yeah. here are these very deliberately yeah. wrapped gifts. And also, like, I get they got to be different for the board game, but yeah. like, but also I don't t- know, give everybody a gun. Or a knife. <laughs> or a knife. Or a candlestick. Yeah. <laughs> Battle Royale <laughs> with <Candlestick>. fancy <laughs> candlesticks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't see any weird birds. We were talking about during it. There's some carved birds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Multiple carved birds. We've talked about this before. Whatever the end, the thing on the end of the staircase is, someone did actually oh, tweet at us. Oh, Is that right? Oh, maybe. That sounds right. Tweet at us, whoever that was again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, one of those is a bird. Okay. But I was kind of imagining like a creepy taxidermy bird situation. Yeah. There was or... definitely taxidermy stuff in the attic. attic yeah. yeah. I don't think any were oh, birds. I don't think there so. was also at the bottom of the staircase, like between, like next to the staircase and by that bathroom, there was a terrarium. Mm. It was oh. filled with plants. Mm. And. I believe a snake. Yeah. Because it's a fancy house. And yeah. snakes, what are snakes if not weird birds, if you think about it? Yeah. Well, is it, is Beth it, also bet there'd be a snake. Yes. Oh. Is there a, is it still called a terrarium if there are snakes in it? Or is that, is it like a, it's a snake arium. Okay. I'm going to do this again. I know this is unprecedented. <laughs> Jake, whenever you hear this episode, please tweet at us. What do you call a snake house? Snake house. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Snake Shack. Snake Shack. <laughs> Snake uh, rattle and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think maybe you just misremembered the third dog and thought that was a weird bird? <laughs> I mean, no. Okay. I think I'm just I, saying it's a different breed of dog. It's got a, a thinner Doberman. snout. Yeah. A Doberman. Okay. You could like through the glass. You, your child, your child brain traumatized after being beaten by your father at the game again. <laughs> Might have thought like, oh, it's just a loud it's bird. Just a loud bird. Yeah. Uh, threatening that man. <laughs> Whose house is that? It, he said it's his friend's house, right? J. Yeah. Edgar Hoover. But he's also a liar. Oh right. Yeah. Oh yeah. And communism was all in this. And it was like an FBI <sighs> setup, right? So like, is it like Ooh, an FBI house and they like Hoover's brought... house. Yeah, that's you what, think yeah. that's where Hoover lives? Yeah. Or it's a house they seized. Well, he would have a house with all those back doors and oh, channels. Oh yeah, he totally and would. Yeah. Phone that's actually a good room. point. I'm just wondering like whose dogs are, are those? Oh, I see. Uh, well, the... the German Shepherds probably... No, I don't know. There are two German <laughs> Shepherds at the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I want to know who let those dogs out. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> they were already like, out. <laughs> they were already out. <laughs> they were never let out. Well, they at were, some they point. They never got let in. No, because this is just like, there's, here are the two questions that everyone, everyone recommends a movie to me. <laughs> What's the initial weather? What's the initial state of the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> they already out? You don't think those dogs ever went in? Mm, maybe uh, no, not. that one had They a had house. those little houses, and then the Doberman probably had one somewhere in the woods, right? I guess. It yeah. seems like a bad life. Oh, it's definitely a bad... Although they get those big-ass turkey legs every time Wadsworth yeah. shows up. Yeah, but how often is that? We don't, yeah, know. I don't know. It's unclear. I would not like to be a guard dog. It's like your jog to, <laughs> job to be like amped up and yeah. anxious and angry all the time. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be rough. And Stressful. And you like fight people. Mm-hmm. And then oh. you're always getting your head knocked together. What? Oh, right. By by villains. Oh, when yeah. like there are two of you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then if it's just one of you, you get punted around. Yeah. By I FBI. I get thrown at uh, Keanu Reeves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That wasn't even a guard dog. Wasn't that just a rando dog? It was just a rando dog. I mean, maybe it was trained to be a- guarding the house. He tried to, but then the beautiful arms of Bodhi just oh. scooped it up. Oh. Sorry, we're, we've moved on to yeah, point sorry. break. We'll come back in a uh, second. Nobody, yeah, no one had beautiful arms in this. Uh, Miss Scarlet had she nice had arms. arms. That's yeah. why she's wearing that shoulderless dress, am I right? Man, yeah. So did Miss White. Good she costume. Strapless. I have a problem with the costuming. Okay, yes. let's hear it. They are all like color based in the game because your pawn is like a certain color, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. That's why the names are there. But like Peacock is not wearing blue. He's got a Peacock hat. Yeah, but it's but she's not wearing blue. Okay, you want a much Scarlet more literal... is not wearing like red at all, except for her lipstick. White is literally wearing black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like I th- I feel like Colonel Mustard has kind of like a yellowy suit. It's more brown than yeah. yellow. Isn't that mustard colored? Though? Mustard's like a yellow I mean, brown. brown mustard. But the pawn is. Yellow. I don't mean like the I don't mean the condiment. I mean the actual color that people think of when they think of like I think it's like a brown a yellow. fabric think of a dark yellow yeah isn't that a brown yellow no brown yellow is way too much brown all right I mean it's more like a yellow brown yeah I, I like or a <laughs> brownish yellow <laughs> yeah I like that the costumes were inspired by although I will say Miss Scarlet was wearing a peacock blue dress in my estimation interesting yeah so they were trying to throw you off and she when you first see her she has that insane collar oh, oh yeah which yeah. looks like a peacock kind of mm. like uh, tail feathers oh yeah. and then when Miss White shows up and she takes off her jacket that is a beautiful moment yeah. white she's wearing a black dress lining on with that a jacket. big white lining mm-hmm. and it is very think cool. about yeah. it white yeah, I did lining, like that part. Beth. I did like the that part, but I kind of wanted her whole dress to be white. Like when mm. she was like, why is that my name? And then she takes off the coat and then it's like the white lining. But it's like, how did they know that the lining of her coat would be white? <laughs> uh, Yvette spied on her or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Right? Sure. Just planted a seed. And called Tim Curry. and was like, she's got the white lining on her coat. Oh, and man. then maybe Scarlet changed after she left the house <laughs> and it ruined everything. Mm. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Tim Curry ran more than anyone I've ever seen. And he ran like a ridiculous cartoon man, and I loved it so much. Yeah. Like, speaking as someone who has a similar body type as Tim Curry, it is (laughs) actually like, I mean, it is, you have, it is a very deliberate action to run the way he did, keeping (laughs) your arms very tight (laughs) to the body and not taking very large strides all the time. He did a great job. He, yeah. Did a great job. He did a great job. I he like that everybody so runs and follows him for like the first two rooms, and then they, and then they completely give give up. They just like stay. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> okay. I would like to propose that we, uh, as a variation on our MVPs, mm. we discuss our MVP C most valuable physical comedy. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, we touched on a couple. <clears throat> I mean, my top moment is definitely a landing collision. So good. Mm-hmm. I feel like second is the ironing board to the face. Oh, uh, it's also so really good. good. I like the one where Tim Curry grabs Madeline Kahn's hand and they run up the stairs and she just falls flat. Oh my God. And then he just like, does, <laughs> she just like stays there. Oh God, I hope she decided to do that herself. Yeah. Like I hilarious. hope that wasn't even supposed to happen in that moment. And she's yeah. just like, I'm just going to do it. God, she's so funny. Uh, she is one of my top PC moments where I don't. They're just arguing, and then she just for no reason smashes her brandy glass <laughs> on the mantel and screams something. Yeah. And then when they cut back to her, and she's still yelling at them, she just throws it as hard as she can. Yeah, like it's so unnecessary. 
Oh, I love it. And that scream she does at the end, that mocking scream. Oh, yes. yeah. So good. Uh, and I mean, Michael McKean, like, gets the shit kicked out of him yes. in this movie. Like, yeah. He's just very funny. His constantly. anxious energy is so funny. Yeah. 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 And at the end, when he keeps playing the corpses, like, he just gets knocked around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he goes for it, man. I forgot about that. Oh, God. Oh, and, like, what is sensical about let's take all the bodies to the study? <laughs> That he makes likes no to keep sense. it tidy. I, yeah. No, but just, oh, it just really bothered me. <laughs> There's no reason for that except to set up a physical comedy moment. Yeah. Oh, in the scene where um, to cover their tracks. Oh, they're the police, all making they're out. They're all like making out with like corpses. With, yeah, with making out with Bernie. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there was that really good moment where uh, Mustard and Scarlet are behind the bar. And she's like, after you. No, after you. And then they both go. And then just like, I think Beth, you pointed out like, had to actually do that where they both just like squeeze yeah. through oh my God. that passage between the bar and the wall. The corner of the bar was like pointy. Oh, like that God. in your back would hurt so bad. So good. But I have this thought a lot because there are so many things that I've done just for comedy. Like. Yeah. It's not like I was recently thinking about this. I shot a video for one of my improv groups and like I dropped an ice cream cone on the ground and I pick up the ice cream and I put it back on and eat it again. Mm, yeah. Like I would, I would never do that. But I was like, this will be funny to like the 10 people that see it on yes, the internet. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, after I do shows, I will sometimes the next day, like not know why I'm injured. Like I try to remember. I'm like, what did I, what dumb thing did I even choose to do? Yeah. Like, I don't remember doing something that would specifically injure that part of my body, but it <laughs> clearly happened. Yeah, no, uh, I've had bruises. You sacrifice, yeah. But you're right? just like, oh, yeah. geez. Well, and on a movie like this, you got to imagine, like, it's all these comedic actors. So, like, all of them are just, like, probably just kind of one up and trying to one up each yeah. other on <laughs> set, basically. Yeah. I bet that was very fun to shoot. Mm-hmm. Except for, like, maybe not. Because there's so many different rooms. It's exhausting. Oh, it's so, so you'd so have to be, like, doing different scenes. I don't like. I, I'm wondering how they shot it. If it was like, okay, we're going to shoot everything in the library today, oh, sure. and so it's just like a bunch of random scenes, you know, yeah. rather than it like, okay, then we're going to do in this order. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Acting. Yeah. yeah. I do know the budget was fifteen million dollars. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And that it initially only grossed fourteen point five million and was mm. considered a flop. Oh. Wow. At someone want to? But later it came. Someone want to quick explain what a flop is? That's when a uh, movie doesn't do well. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, but it's become a cult classic since then. Mm-hmm. So, good job. Yeah, good yeah. job, all good those job. people. Good job, listeners. I have the question about the ending. Yeah. Which ending? Just all of them. Okay. Okay, so in the first half, we were talking about how they showed different endings in different theaters. Which turns out to be true. I Wikipedia. Yes, I also really? looked that up. I yeah. just feel like a couple, like the last ending is the only one that's satisfying. Yeah. Like all the other ones end in a weird, like abrupt way. And that one is like, it ends on a joke. I mean, they all end in a freeze frame, but like it <laughs> That's actually. That's how you end movies. Yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> but like that one ends on a joke. And the other ones, I feel like, end like, okay, we figured it out. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Well, I mean, the first one ends with cust- custard, mustard getting startled by another chandelier dropping, lol. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh,. I don't remember how the second one ends. I know Miss Peacock gets like swarmed by Hoover's men. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I agree though. I think it's much more satisfying to have ev- everybody be the murderer. Yeah. Than mm-hmm. just one person. Cause it, I don't know. Like that, those, none of them seem like, ah, it all makes sense. Yeah. Like none of it. It's not obviously since there's three endings, the movie is not crafted to lead you to any specific <laughs> yes, <correct. laughs> right. yeah. uh, resolution. Um, and so if everybody's got a reason, it's, yeah. I find okay. It more but satisfying. think about if you were the, if you were the Dan and your brother, Jaquette boys yeah. of the 1970s to eighties, and you've been playing Clue obsessively sure. all the time, getting just trounced by your father. <laughs> right. Right. You know, this game, you're a super fan. You yeah. find out they're making a Clue movie, right? Cluvie. A Cluvie. A Cluvie. You get to the end and you're like, but uh, Mrs. Peacock wasn't the murderer every time we played Clue, and you're incensed, and you go to, I guess, like a corkboard in like a shop, 
and put up your angry screed about how they destroyed your childhood because this movie didn't stick to the source material well enough. Wait, this is like the like like Reddit thread yeah. of that I'm just time. saying okay, they're trying it. to stick to the source material <laughs> because the board game doesn't end the same way every time. So they wanted to be authentic to the source. Sure. I mean, also, there's only one person who's killed. Mr. Body is killed. And you're solving that murder. Not a bunch so of So you'd murders. be furious within the first, like, half an hour then. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, like, never mind. How many guesses am I supposed to make? According to the internet, some uh, newspapers in some towns would actually tell you which ending was being shown at various, oh. at, in the movie listings in the paper, they would say ending A, ending B, or ending C. Oh, nice. Interesting. So you mm. could go to so more than one. So you could catch, catch them, them all. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the I remember Pokemon. going to see a movie multiple times in the theater. Mm-hmm. I want to go see nine to five, like probably at least three or four times. Not nine or five times? Mm. No, not nine or five. Oh, well. I just, yeah, like that seems so foreign to me now. I would mm-hmm. just never do that. Maybe twice. I feel like that movie, I feel like the movie was entertaining, but like if I had to sit through the whole thing just for like that, like, you know, five minute ending or whatever that mm-hmm. was different, I'd be mad. I mean, there wasn't a lot going on. Yeah. In yeah. 1985. Plus, like, like, that's kids the kind of thing, though, where you like just have a friend who works at the movie theater. Oh, sure. And yeah. And they let you in for like the last 15 minutes. You sure. Know? Okay. That's stealing. Um, you watched this movie wow. on a VHS tape from your stolen cable. It's not wow. stolen oh, that's right. cable. I, I forget. It was we, uh, the property lines go out in the middle of the street, so we own the air above it. So they strung cable. My dad went out and said, "Hey, you can't do that. That's my property." And they said, "How about free cable for life?" And he said, "Okay." Okay. But then he stole <laughs> it by recording it on a VHS. Oh, I believe so that is legal. Wants. Broadcast. You can record broadcast. There's a whole court case about it. But can you record cable television? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, lawyers oh, don't wow. get at me. I mean, it's uh, statutes. So did probably. it have commercials in it, or was it recorded? No, it was off probably like from HBO? like HBO or oh, something. Premium. Yeah. Oh, wow. nice. So we got Marcellus. premium channels for free. We got all the channels. <laughs> oh, no, you you must have been the most popular that. kids in school, except the porn channels. Sure. Oh dear. It's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> probably a smart move. Hmm. What were we talking about? Oh, all the weird endings and how <laughs> Beth is furious. And, yeah, I'm mad about it. Yeah, okay. Mad I mean, about yeah. the costumes, mad about the endings. I mean, the costumes were cool though, right? They just weren't yeah. thematically. They just weren't the right colors. Yeah. Like it wasn't, it wouldn't have been that difficult to like make that dress red, yeah. right? Does Do that you, seem like too on the yeah, nose? Yeah, maybe the costumer was like, no. Is that what Hank was up to? <sighs> Who? Sure. Hank Restaurant's puppets of costumes. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> well, I could, I could make it a scarlet this dress. Sounds, sorry. But. What if it's blue? Here's my thought. I feel like this movie is much more likely costumes by Adrian. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? So stylish. so stylish. Adrian. And going against type like that, that seems yeah. much more like a dick Adrian move. Yeah. Or just I mean, like, that just feels Scarlet like... will be wearing peacock blue and it'll blow their minds. <laughs> that is classic costumes by Adrian move. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want that white coat, though. I can't remember that. That's yeah, how that what Adrian sounds amazing. like. Sorry, Toad's Heads. That's more like Peter like... Diamond. Yeah, this is more like Peter Diamond. What? Mm. I was just talking about the uh, the veil. The veil. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right too. Good. She looks like she j- just had come. Well, okay, so that does fit with her character because she's like murdered all of her husbands, <laughs> uh-huh. and so, so she widow. looks like a widow. Like yeah. she's got all black on yeah. and she's got the veil on. Yes. Okay, fine. But she was not mourning those schmoes, am I right? No, no. she did have Thank a really good. Next, am I right? Speaking of zingers, she did have that really good line of like. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm not right. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, let's take it again. Yeah, Three, it's a good joke. Two. Let's do it again. Thank you. Next, am I right? <laughs> oh, I get it. It's for all our young listeners, our grande fans. Grande. Oh my. The grand. grand- Grandes. Like Ariana. Grand- what does she call her yeah, fans? Ariane heads? <laughs> really? No. She probably does have a thing, right? right? Tweet at us, yeah. Ariana Grande. <laughs> oh, directly? Yeah. Yeah, why not? You think she listens to the most podcast? Yes. Probably. She loves comedy. Is that true? Right? Yeah. All she's right. very funny. Okay. I think she's funny. I've never. I haven't s- talked to her. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen her. She was on SNL. Okay. Yeah. She could play a variety of characters, and it seemed like she knew, like, how, how t- comedy works. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good sure. for her. You know how sometimes there are people on SNL and you're like, oh, oh you boy. mean most of them? <laughs> yeah. 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 Boom. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Including the cast members. Ooh. Hey-oh. What? Shots fired. 
We are I'm not invested in improvisers in the Twin Cities, <laughs> yeah. Minnesota. Come at us yeah. in our regional yeah. improv theater. Yeah. Lauren Michaels. Yeah, yeah. Lauren. Yeah. No, don't come. It'll ruin everything. Oh, it'd be a <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That wasn't uh, Feeny or whatever no. from Boy Meets World. It was the other guy <laughs> from Sabrina Martin the Teenage Witch. Mull. Oh, Mull. such a good show. Yeah. He played the principal something. I don't know what his name was. Was he a principal? Or maybe he was just a teacher? I can't remember. Oh, boy. He's definitely like... School figure. A school figure. Yeah. <laughs> and like non-magical. No. Mm. Right? Yes. I can like... I feel like he's like, Harvey. Like at what? some point. Isn't that Sabrina's boyfriend, Harvey? Harvey. Oh, Harvey. yeah. I guess. I don't know. Harvey. Maybe not. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harvey. Your, your girlfriend's a witch. Harvey. It's Jimmy Stewart? Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> that was a raptor from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been amazing. If they they should have done that in the reboot of Sabrina. Had her principal be a velociraptor. Oh, oh yeah. Great. That would have been great. Have tuned in. Beth, you bet there'd be lightning. Yes. Yeah. Nailed, Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Because of the route. weather. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> you, just want, you just needed to clarify <laughs> where the lightning was coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just I was trying to reference how we were talking about the weather. Yeah. We knew what the weather would be oh, earlier. Oh, initial web. <laughs> initial web. Got it, but also, got it, got like, it. if you want to know where lightning comes from, it's oh, like yeah. static from electricity. From the from well, it's just because of weather. Do you not know where lightning comes from? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know. Are like, I serious? understand it comes, like, it's fr- but does it go from the ground to the clouds? Right? Isn't that one thing with lightning? The, the like, the, the initial, or the... I don't know well enough to explain this, but yeah, like something to do with like the actual charge shift that creates the lightning itself. Yeah. It starts from the ground. Yeah. Like the actual thing that generates the bolt when it hits the ground actually starts on the ground, I think. Oh boy. See, Tweet right? at us, meteorologists. All right. Everybody's so <laughs> judgy that I don't know where lightning comes from, but try and explain it. It's like friction. Yeah, it's definitely friction. Yeah. What's f- f- rubbing against each other? Particles, man. Air Particles. molecules. They're just rubbing too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it, teams. It makes static okay. Are right. you listening, team? <laughs> now you're interested, right? Yeah. Back in. Causing sparks, rubbing Push too hard. On Fortnite over there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, weather cast. Cool it. Uh. Unlike. Hey, we got some cool lightning here today in <laughs> Minneapolis. The weather was thunder. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's cool it and it's weather. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool weather. Snow. This episode doesn't drop for like another month and people are going to be like, what are you talking about? It's spring now. Or yeah. is it? Oh, God, I hope it's spring. It snows in May sometimes. <laughs> I hope it's spring. <laughs> I might die if it's not spring. <laughs> Speaking of dying, uh, <laughs> everybody does this everybody, movie. A lot of people die in this movie. Yeah. Oh, it's exhausting. Oh, but that was, there was a good bit about that where when they find a vet's body, mm-hmm. they all just kind of walk in. <laughs> they would look at the room, and they just kind of like, eh, and they just walk yeah. out. Like no one screams. It's like the third nobody. hamster that died. What? Oh, in your life? In my life. Okay. No, when I was a kid, the first hamster I cried for a week. Yeah. Second hamster that died, I cried for a couple of days. Yeah. The third hamster, I was just like, Dad, it's dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like that. It was that yeah. same kind of feeling. Yeah. But there were like six deaths in this. Yeah. 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 And there's a wonderful singing telegram oh, artist great. who's from the Go-Go's. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, Jane Weedlin. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, so fun. And she has this beautiful moment and then just gets shot. It's mm-hmm. very f- comedically timed. I would say the subject matter is not funny, Were you, but it's comedically timed. <laughs> yeah, you were about to say funny. Uh, I was. It changed to comedically timed. <laughs> <laughs> Safe bet. <laughs> very, generous. <laughs> very generous. Very generous. <laughs> um, speaking of the event, I want to talk about French maids. Yeah, just in general? Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, as a concept? Well, I mean, so obviously she is a very sexy character in this, and that's intentional. Yeah, mm. clearly. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of the French maid thing, but is why? that the actual French maid and why? Yes. Like, does that come up from a place of truth of, like, the maids in France were hot? Or, <laughs> and if so, why? I don't know. I also don't know. I've never questioned this before. Me neither. I was like, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a big trope, right? It's but a why? Yeah, French maids are hot. But like also like 
it's not a good outfit to be a maid in. No. 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 But why French, specifically? I mean, and the French are sexier. We all know that. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Well, we'll have to look it up. Yeah, we will have to look it up. It's probably very depressing. Yeah. We're going to go Google real French maids. I don't know. That'll get me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned, this is what I call the Looney Tunes phenomenon. Yeah. Where anytime you research something that you just always took for granted, it's like, oh yeah, that's what comedy does. You look it up and realize it's historically based on something racist or just awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably going to find that out. Yeah. Like, best guess is like, Gross manner men were like, definitely. Everybody needs to be hot as shit around me, yeah. even the help, yeah. so that I can sexually assault them whenever I want. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's probably the reality. Of and but what think- makes them French? Because they're in France. Maybe it was French manner people. Yeah. Oh, maybe like Louis you- the whatever was like. Yeah. Hey, not. give me the hot air maid. <laughs> okay. Ha ha ha! No That's long offensive. dresses for you. Get that bosom out. It's me, Louis the King. Molly, you had something to say? No, I was just like, well, maybe it's like Americans who are like, oh, I'll have the finest maids. Oh, they sure. They come from France. Sure. But it's also like, but also I'm a rich man. I yeah. need my sexy I servants. I mean, the closest parallel I can think of is uh, flight attendants or stewardesses in the early. Same idea, right? Early sure. days, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also in fifth element times. Yes. Yes. True. Oh. Yes. Very true. <laughs> Even more so. Yeah. In yeah. the future. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth but I element bet it's future. horrifying. I bet you're right. The origins? I bet the origins are just truly terrible. I mean, what I've learned, not to take this into an even darker place, but oh, yeah. what Here I've learned go. in, the, Strap in the harsh world of 2019 <laughs> is that I've come to just accept that the more that I inform myself of all the things I have taken for granted about just our culture in general, their origins are generally horrible. Yeah. So educate yourself, everybody. <laughs> you too can be really depressed. <laughs> you too also, can not feel good about anything. Sure, but then also maybe when enough of us feel bad about it, we can all be collectively like, oh, maybe we should do something about that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And stop just accepting it. Yeah. That's For a very real. good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, rise up, F the rich. Rise yeah. up, uh, the rich. Don't. Don't specifically hire maids because you want a sexy lady around. Yeah. Or anyone. Don't hire anyone because you just, want a sexy person around. Yeah, they're not their job. Like, if, I mean, unless, if they're I guess, unless it is their yeah, job. Yeah, I guess if you're like explicitly <laughs> hiring a sex worker, like. Who is self employed right, and this not is a being. Human being. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Only hire sexy sex workers. Sexy to you. Yes. Sexy to you sex workers who are individually employed. Dot yes. Com. Dot <laughs> Is that a website? <laughs> I mean, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make millions. Well, we're not going to make it. We're going to enable sex workers to make millions. Individually employed. Yeah. I don't think they need us for that, though. That's probably not true. Probably, right? That probably is true. I mean, now that Backpage has been shut down, this is ages old news. <sighs> and it really screwed the sex industry. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. I yeah, also didn't know that. The, I don't follow sex industry news I don't know what that closely. This means. Well, I, I mean, you want to dig into this? So they passed this law a couple of years ago that is, essentially was to stop child This is what happens when a movie is only 96 minutes long. <laughs> Which is great. Yes. We all want to stop child sex trafficking. Yes. yes. But it had the also effect of uh, it was holding websites accountable for what was on them and what people used them for instead of the people using them. Mm-hmm. So. Um, that means pages that advertised for sex work couldn't do that anymore because now those pages themselves could be sued and or they were illegal. Mm-hmm. Great. We're done with style checks working. But that also took away sex workers' ability to promote themselves in a safe way because mm-hmm. you know, they had taken the pimps out of the game by being able to use the internet to connect individually with clients. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now that's illegal. So they're back to, in some cases, back to having to be controlled by gross dudes. Mm. That's interesting. Yes, I agree. Because isn't <laughs> sex working still illegal? Yes. So in most places. Most places in, in America, this country. Yes. So what? So they they're not they're doing that illegally, but they won't advertise illegally. No one else will advertise for them illegally. Right. Because okay. now, because before, like, you'd be like, I'm just running a website. They can use it however they want. And the website people couldn't get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Got it. But now they can't. So why doesn't that apply to Facebook? 
Well, I mean, it probably does. I don't think you can post uh, sex stuff on Facebook. Well, sex no, I mean, connections. Like, okay, we're going to a real Yes, place let's here. do it. <laughs> Look, Clue is a dumb, silly movie. <laughs> You paid, you didn't pay. You downloaded a podcast that you expect to be a certain runtime. <laughs> and hey, you know what? We're all friends. Yeah. We just yeah. like to talk, We're chitty talking. chat, chitty chat, drinking tea. Yeah. We're trying to get a clue oh. about the state of our world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Molly. Oh, no. I was just going to say, like, I'm um, all about shitting on Facebook. Let's so, go. Well, yeah. But, like, you know, they host. I mean, they were accomplices, essentially, Mm -hmm. in disseminating incorrect information sent by Russian bots Mm -hmm. without any interference. Yeah, And there's a lot of white nationalism and really creepy shit happening on there that Mm -hmm. can and sometimes does lead to violence. Mm -hmm. So if they were held accountable in the same way that sex workers were for the back pages scenario Mm -hmm. then Facebook should be having a harder time than just some congressional hearings. It's almost... And now I'm just throwing this out there hypothetically. Okay. And again, this is about the movie Clue. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if those in power are more interested mm-hmm. in controlling what mostly women can or cannot do with their own sexuality mm-hmm. rather than hold large corporations accountable for their actions. Yeah, yeah it does seem like that. And it again, this is a based Clue. on a yeah. scene from the movie Clue. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I would say Clue does have this whole moment around communism and socialism and Hoover. Yeah, there yeah. is some there subversive themes. little jabs in yeah. there, for There's sure. There's a beautiful moment where somebody admits to being a socialist. I think it wasn't even that. I think it was friends with socialists. Friends with socialists. Yeah. And the amount of gasping and yeah. clutching of necks was amazing. It was very funny. Yeah. But then that's a lie, right? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, All I, I know is remember. that they used the joke that communism was a red herring three times. Every yes. ending. Yes. Well, Every the rule ending. of threes. Yes, yes. that's true. I mean, what if yeah. they just used it once, we wouldn't even... Yeah. yeah, I think I were I, while they were saying that I was remembering back to not knowing what red herring means, mm-hmm. and just like I would see it in the movie, I would imagine a fish yes. and move on. Yes, and like not understand <laughs> yeah. and be fine with it. I learned the word red herring from an episode of Scooby Doo. Nice, where they literally meet a boy with red hair whose name is Red Herring. <laughs> <laughs> so that's amazing. Yeah, did I'm it pretty... turn out that he was the one who did it though? So, no, he was a red hair. Okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were trying to be like... I would be so confused if he actually had done oh, that's it. Sure. Yeah, sure, that's sure, true. Sure, 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 sure. But I remembered it wrong this whole time. Yeah. Every time I said it's a red herring, she'd be like, well, that's your That's murderer. the one who did yeah. it. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, I learned that from point. Scooby-Doo. It is an interesting expression. Where does that one come from? Great question. I don't know. Dig Do you think into it's that? horrible? <sighs> I uh, bet it is. I bet it's just fish related. Maybe. Right? Uh, maybe it's something where like, oh, the tuna industry would sometimes... Like, have think, pull up a herring and, and they think red, it was a tuna and they throw it out yeah. because it's not what they were looking for because it looks know. like a different type of fish right maybe oh. but it's not it's yeah. a herring right you know there was a shipwreck okay. one time <laughs> the titanic <laughs> great no it wasn't the, titanic. the lucid it was titanic. A different uh. one. and these people were out looking for this ship <laughs> and about two years into their search they find a mast they find the mast of the ship okay Whoa. and they are so excited because they're definitely on the right track and so they spend like another three years following that as their lead. Mm-hmm. But it turns out it's a total anomaly. The mast, for whatever reason, got pulled off a hundred miles in the wrong direction. Whoa. And had they not found the mast, they would have found the shipwreck much sooner. Whoa. And I remember hearing that story, and this will tell you something about my psyche. I sort of tucked it away as like an indicator that even when you think things are good, mm-hmm. It may just be leading you astray from yep. what's what you're really after. Also, wow. we should start. I think we should replace the phrase "red herring" with, I don't know, "trickery mast." Trickery mast. <laughs> <laughs> Wayward yeah. mast. Wayward mast. Yeah. Oh, it's the name of my new improv group. I'm nice. starting. Yeah. Very nice. I one of my get rich fantasies is finding sunken treasure. How are you? Wait, gonna are do you going to get rich first and then and then find it? No, 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 James no. Cameron, I or? find it. And that's like how you a, get rich. Like a Spanish galleon. Okay. Okay. So okay. how are you going to do that? Yeah. There know. are many flaws in this plan. I don't know. One, <laughs> you live in a landlocked. <laughs> well, now. Oh, this was back I when you were. I always lived here. I see. When you're back and you were in California getting destroyed by your father at the game of Clue. <laughs> yeah. You would imagine like someday I'll find buried or sunken treasure. That'll show him. Yeah. It pivoted slightly when I read a news story about a family finding old coins in yeah. their backyard yes. and being able to retire. Great. 
Did you start digging holes randomly in your yard? I thought about it, but I was like, it's not going to happen. But what if it did? What if it did? Are you or do you currently ever going to what? The question that I'm saying doesn't make <laughs> I'm, sense. I'm ready for it. Let me start over. Three. Do you currently two. or will you ever own a metal detector? Great question. Ooh. I could see that being the kind of retirement activity. That <laughs> you know, I, I can absolutely in. picture that. I also for can you. picture yes, that yes, for me you. Too. Yes. Oh, well, okay. Oh, we good. have a quorum. Yeah. We have a retirement gift <laughs> yeah. already yeah. picked out. Yeah, we'll wrap it up nicely. Yeah. And then just the right size box. Just the right size box. <laughs> and hand it to you. And it'll be a metal detector. Yeah. So we just need to get to like 10 million on Patreon. How much to retire? Ooh, <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. 10 million? Wow. Well, yeah. we split it. We split it four ways. Okay. You think we, that we each need like whatever a fourth of 10 million is. Two and a half million Two point, yeah. He has a child. Oh, yeah. I think you're right, you? actually. I take it back. You're right. We need yeah, actually, $10 million dollars to retire. Actually, you better than any of us because yeah. you have more time to invest it. Ooh, it that's grow. true. Yeah, that compound interest. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. We never learned about that hey, in school. Hey, patrons and non-patrons alike, don't you want to help Beth <laughs> retire <laughs> ple- in a pleasant state? Oh, my gosh. She's got so much time to invest. Yeah. She could be investing now. If you gave her if money, you gave <laughs> us money, yeah, through <laughs> patreon.com slash toe three call. You shouldn't invest your own money. No, 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 give it to me to invest. Invest in the future. If you're older invest than in Beth, my future, you should be giving yes, him her if, money. Yes, absolutely. And if you're so, younger, we should be giving you money, but we're not gonna. No, no, I mean, but eventually, if you're younger, start your own podcast. Yeah, and yes. like ask for money <laughs> that From way. Old O's, yeah. yeah. Which oh is, I guess, gosh. is still us, but we're too busy doing our podcast to listen to your dumb podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'm what? investing. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. I don't have time to. <laughs> and I'm invest thinking in about you. all the treasure I'm gonna find. Uh, yeah. yeah, investing in exclusive content. Ooh, <laughs> Patreon.com/slash Tuts Recall. You can access for a dollar a month or millions of dollars. Yes. Well, nobody's if you do have that. it. I'm just saying. Nobody's if gonna do that. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I know you just gave all your uh, some of your money away to your wife. <laughs> oh, no. Jeff Bezos' oh, wife. Oh, no. That's too rude. <laughs> Jeff Bezos' wife. Yeah. yeah. You oh, yeah. should invest in our podcast. Yeah. yeah. You're maybe less of a jerk. I don't know anything about you. We'll yeah. shit talk your ex husband. I will absolutely as much as you want. shit talk your ex husband. <laughs> he does that for free. Yeah. We'll do a whole podcast. If, okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Jeff Bezos' ex wife. If you give us $10 million a on, month, a month <laughs> <laughs> on Patreon. Yep. We will stop doing this podcast <laughs> yeah. and start doing a podcast where we just shit talk what we Jeff call Bezos. It? What are we calling it? Um, more uh, Bezos the Clown. <laughs> like Bozo good. the Clown? I get clown? it. No, I get yeah. it. Okay, it's right. pretty good. Yeah. I appreciate that you're going for more like something. Uh, and maybe we can table that for now. And Wow. Okay. I feel like it wasn't accepted. So yeah. I'll no, just no. Keep no, 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 no. I think it's great. I was just excited when you started saying more like, because I'm like, yeah, I can't think of one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but be so, so sad. Yeah. yeah. Like he be so bad. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. I think you're on to something. Be so, I don't know. Be so stupid. That's <laughs> so our stupid. podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Be the clown, colon. <laughs> be so stupid. stupid. Yeah. The Butzos cast. Yeah. Um, but also, Jeff Bezos, if you're listening, please don't destroy us with your money. Yeah. <laughs> or send us to space or whatever. Don't do that. Well, oh. send us to space. Don't send Dan to space. He's oh, terrified. I don't want to do that. Dan. Poor me. Also, yeah. send some robots first. So I do agree with Dan on that. Send some robots first, then send us to space. Yeah. yeah. Molly, you want to talk about the song <laughs> Shake, Rattle, and Roll oh, from the movie yeah. Clue? Yeah. Right. The movie Clue. I feel like of their $15 million dollar budget, about. a very small portion was spent on music rights. <coughs> you think it was think a small a portion? A great portion was spent on sound effects. Oh, sure. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I got something to say about that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there are only two songs, I guess. I thought <laughs> there was like... just one, but maybe there's two. There's Shake, yeah. Rattle, and Roll at the beginning, which establishes the time period. At the beginning? It's at, at the beginning. The was it at the beginning? Yeah. You, that when, In yeah. the rain? Yeah, after the rain, oh. after you go through the door, yeah. shake, rattle, and roll is playing. Oh. oh. Hmm. I guess I was too busy enjoying the poop joke. Oh, yeah. yeah I thought poop the poop joke, joke was tiresome. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> sorry, wow. I did. It's just like, come on, I've seen it. Uh, but maybe in 1985, I had not yeah, seen it. Yeah, there had never been a poop joke mm-hmm. like that in 1985, we surely. Know. We'll never know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was great. So that was the first one. And then at the end, it was the Shadoop, Shadoop. Shadoop, That song. That was in the middle. Life could be a dream. Okay, the middle and the end. But there Shane Rowland Roll was also at the end. Well, there are only two songs. Yeah. My point is there are only two songs yes. in the whole thing. Okay. 
But there's also like this. Bim, 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 yeah, bim, just bim, that bim. over and over. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it's the kind of movie that Danny Elfman would watch and just throw stuff at the screen. Because like, yeah. really? Oh, he sh- he How many times are you bringing about the same music and why can't I score this? Yes. It, it felt very Danny Elfman adjacent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the yeah. opening song was Especially a Danny Elfman almost sounded like Beetlejuice. thing. Yeah. 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 So are you saying you would rather they would have licensed more songs or that it was weird that they even did it at all? No, I thought it was just interesting that they kept bringing them back. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Do you think it's like symbolism of some sort? Oh, God. Is this like a well, fifth did... element? No. What? Not that one. No, the other one with the dead guy. Sixth, Sixth Sense. Sense. Uh, yeah. Where everything it... means something. Does it? Tiresome. Does the yeah. music mean something? Or is there a poop joke in there? Is that why it's so tiresome? <laughs> No, but like red on the doors. I think it was red with something that's been touched by the dead or Uh something. Uh Uh Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Yawn. mm -hmm. Red herrings, am I right? Yeah, Yeah, you are right. You are right. right. (laughs) Balloons. I want to talk about sound effects. Do it. I relived this whole movie. I remembered every moment. Of course you did. But I caught something new this (gasps) viewing. Yes. And it was very important. Did you have to stop yourself from pulling your phone out and texting your brother? No. (laughs) uh, But he's listening. He'll hear this. Okay. Um, At the very end, Madeline Kahn... After, no, what is it? Mr. Green goes, Mrs. Peacock was a man. Right. Mm-hmm. And he gets slapped twice. Yes. And it's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Because he does an amazing fall. Um, but then Madeline Kahn just like flicks oh, yeah. Colonel Mustard's suspender and it goes, oh, boink. God, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason. It came out of nowhere. Oh, it was amazing. I never oh, noticed that. Great. She's great. so good. Uh, and just so our listeners know, during the movie, at certain times, Dan would just start giggling. It was yeah. really hilarious. You to were me. charmed by this yeah. movie. I was recharmed. Again. Yeah. Nothing was happening. And he yeah. was like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that line. They did it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, this is not as so much PC so much as it is. A C. Acting? Ad libbed comedy. Ad libbed okay. comedy. Where they. What were they talking about? Oh. Where they accuse Mrs. White of yeah. killing Yvette and her husband because she was jealous of them having an affair. And then she just goes into this like absurd apoplexy where she's like, my, my head, the flames, oh, flames, yes. flames, flames on the, the side, side of, of my head. head. <laughs> Burning. Oh my Hushing God. Flames. It was it, Because amazing. it starts so serious. Yes. <laughs> she's like, it's like the beginning of a very serious yes. monologue. <laughs> And then it's just like, it makes no sense. It's so good. It's so good. And the internet says that she ad-libbed that entirely. Ugh. Really? So yeah. they just left the cameras room. Yeah. <laughs> that was yep. very good. Oh, she was amazing. She was a delight. That was one of her bets. She would be a delight. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Confirmed. Everyone Nailed was it. a delight. Everyone was a delight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I appreciated Mrs. Peacock on this viewing more than I did as oh, a kid. Man. Yeah. Me she's too. great. Holy shit. Yeah. She's she... like... When her hat thing is like yes. falling in her face, she worked she's that hat mess. so hard. <laughs> yeah. And then just the way she talks sometimes, like she just the I don't know, like she did something with her voice sometimes of just this very specific kind of exasperated. Yes, it was so funny. Me, I'm not doing a very good job, but yeah, she did a great job with that. And then when she becomes the like when she is the murderer, yes. like her, she just kind of lowers her voice. Mm-hmm. It's and a like, very Kaiser Soze moment. Oh, it's great! Mm-hmm. It's so great. There was one I can't remember what it was. It was something really good where she was just like, "They have to leave now, or they're gonna be killed." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. She reminded me of like if my it was basically the whole time she, her entire character was like, "This is what would happen if my mom." Had been <laughs> very rich her entire life, but was still like the same personality. You know, like she was still this, like my mom. Yeah, I just feel like it had that same level of like, just like inability to stop, like always having to fill the silence. Yeah, but also just sort of like having just this constant exasperation with the world. <laughs> yeah, her entire character was basically my mom scolding me as a child. Is basically what I'm saying. Like it was that same kind of tone where I'd say something sarcastic, be like Daniel. <laughs> You have to leave or I will kill you. <laughs> you gotta get killed. <laughs> yeah. um, the guy who I thought we were all going to be delighted by was the head of the FBI. Oh, yeah. Raid. The Jesus man. Yeah. He was not as good as I had hoped. Mm. I imagined him. I essentially imagined him more as like a Columbo type. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, he had the right look. And we yeah. know Columbo is God. Columbo, Columbo is God. Yeah. Check out our live show. Totsregal.com yes. slash live show. I think it's just oh, episode okay. whatever, right? 
Or hey, just subscribe <laughs> on your cast machine. <laughs> yeah. Just scroll up scroll or back. down, yeah. whichever way your list works. Sure. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted him to. I wanted him to be a little more grizzly. Yeah. And he was just like like hey, he did have very high pants <laughs> and a very <laughs> short, thick tie. I didn't even notice that the, the tie was so short. Yeah. It was, it was like a child's tie. Yeah. <laughs> and like. You know, like a kind of almost an Amish beard. Mm-hmm. Like there was a lot going for it, yeah. but he just like his delivery was pretty basic. Yeah, and so I feel like it was a real missed opportunity to have a real funny lawman character. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you gonna so do? So close. We spent could have had that, a spent all that budget on the principals. What? <laughs> oh, the principal yeah, actors. That's fair. I thought you meant uh, Martin Mull. Yeah. Who may or may not have played a principal <laughs> in Sabrina? Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted more out of Mr. Body. I think even as a kid, I knew that guy wasn't doing as well as everybody else. <laughs> right? He's like... He's also a he musician. He's out of place. Yeah. He just like... He's I not funny ever. No. Maybe he's just friends with the guy, the director. Maybe. Like everyone else is funny and he's never funny. Like maybe, his, maybe they're friends and he's just like, hey, you look real skeevy. He's yeah. also like... Sorry, not a good actor. Yeah, that's <laughs> like he's a band else, man. Everyone else is like great, and he just seems like he was just there, kind yeah. of. Yeah. yeah, and he had a lot of grease in his hair. Yeah. He tried to make up for it with like extra De Niro sounding words. Yeah. yeah. Or wait, who said he was like a lesser Baldwin? I did. Oh, <laughs> low tier. I believe you low, said low, low tier Baldwin. Baldwin. <laughs> yeah. Which like, like... Uh, Stephen? Oh wow! Wow. Which one's the fake Baldwin? What? I didn't know there's a there's fake a, Baldwin. Yeah, there's a Baldwin who's named Baldwin, but he's not a Baldwin. But he kind of looks like a Baldwin. It's what? very confusing. Most that is not confusing. Billy Baldwin. I don't think so. Daniel no, Baldwin? Be. I don't know. No. Hmm. If you're one of the They're... Baldwins and you know which Baldwin <laughs> isn't your brother. <laughs> oh, I hope we get multiple tweets. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Beth, I'm From sorry. I got three very of excited. The four Baldwins. Are there four of you. them? There are four of them. I have right? don't even know. Yes. I think there are four. Yep. Steven. Billy. Alec. Alec. There's a Daniel. 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 Yeah. Okay. Krusty. One of them is the, the father. King. The purple duke. Of the young. <laughs> Haley. Haley Baldwin. What? Alec, that's Alec. No, Stephen married Baldwin. Married to Justin Bieber? Yes. What Engaged is this? To Justin Us Bieber. magazine? No, they yeah. got married. Oh. What? Wow, they're married. Yeah. Who knew a movie about goofballs <laughs> getting murdered <laughs> Would cause us to have like a very subversive <laughs> episode of Toast Recall. Yeah. Well, we laid the groundwork with all that apple cheese talk. That's <laughs> true. That's code. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, before we get to our <laughs> final rating of the review, we movie, we'd like to say a review of our podcast. Toastrecall.com. Yes. Maximum. A maximum review uh, in the impression of someone from the movie. Mm-hmm. We do not have a review, Oof. so I won't do it. Wow. Get on it. Wow, it looks like we respected you, listeners, but none of you respect us. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Wow, shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Candlestick wielded, wielded aggressively. Lead pipe hefted. Uh, <laughs> microphone. <laughs> yep. Yep. Because that's what it would be. Yeah. Microphone in the studio. If there was a podcast murder? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Or like headphone cords. Oh, you get it. See? That was really good. There was just no verb, so I was waiting yeah. for the verb. Yeah. That's all. No, that's what Clue is, is you just listen out. <laughs> you just, yeah. yeah. That's true. That, that is true. true. I would play that version of Clue. Yeah. I would absolutely play that version you of just, Clue. Who could name the most nouns? <laughs> but they're all murder weapons. Oh, murder noun. Murder noun. Murder noun. Oh, that's my new improv group. <laughs> murder noun? <laughs> Uh, Dan, you uh, gave this a two, yeah. thinking you'd be disappointed. Yeah, um, it was actually I, there were definitely some like uh, this movie is of its time moments, but overall it was a lot funnier and more entertaining than I expected it to be. Like I was worried it was going to be a real slog and just sort of like I don't know. Sometimes there's like eighties funny, you know what I mean? Where it's just kind of like, oh, it's funny because these people are inferior to us. Not necessarily like a racial thing right but like even just like i don't know like i feel like a lot of comedies are just like there was an era where a lot of movie to comedies just like hey you're gonna follow this asshole around all the whole movie and isn't it funny that he's such a jerk to other people <laughs> yeah. who don't deserve it yeah i was worried that was what this movie was gonna be but like 
six ways or something, or it was just a bunch of jerks being jerks to each other. Mm. Sure. But there was mostly not that. Like there was they were jerks, but like not in a gross way, mostly. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm rambling. Okay, I'm gonna say entertaining movie, some problematic elements, but I did have a good time watching it. What, what was it? Blue. Oh yeah, Peacock. It Peacock Blue. Peacock Blue. Antics. Antics. Yes. Wow, he's really thinking. Wow. Well, three and a half antics. Wow. wow. Oh, great. I don't know. Maybe four. It was funny mostly. Wow. <laughs> This is maybe the most conflicted I've seen you on it's, a movie yeah. rating. Because it's like comedies don't usually hold up, and this one held up mostly pretty well. So yeah. I feel like I need to give that credit for that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Three and 3.75. Great. <laughs> Beth, you also anticipated a two and being disappointed and then remembered my remembering of a butt grab and lowered yeah. it to one. Yeah. <laughs> well, already there was no grab, so that's up to two. Okay. Right? And that's then... <laughs> I uh, no, I actually didn't hate it. <laughs> I thought it was very entertaining. I liked the physical comedy. Um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the perfect movie, and it's not a movie that I'm gonna like watch a bunch of times. Like I've seen it twice now. I don't need to see it again. Um, but I was entertained by it, so I'm gonna say three. Hey, I said four. Thought it would be a delight, and I'd read. Tread the joys of my youth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did. I okay. All that. <laughs> um, a lot of handsy men. That's a bummer. And there were some parts where I was like, this is getting a little slow. Yeah. But I agree. It The comedy of it holds up. And then I think just like physical comedy is pretty timeless. Mm-hmm. People falling down and stepping in poo. And the zingers. And the zingers. Um, yeah. So four. Yeah. Great. I enjoyed it. Wow. Cool. Molly, you took a ship to Coward Island. <laughs> Bet three, but you were gonna oh only because you were respecting our listeners. Otherwise, yeah. you would have rated it lower. That's true. That's true. And thank you, listeners. I enjoyed this movie way more than I expected Ooh. to. Uh, the thing that I liked is when problematic elements happened, people reacted appropriately. Yes. Mm-hmm. So like, there's like yeah. a really uncomfortable joke, this bad, stupid joke about someone being a vegetable versus a fruit. Mm-hmm. Um, and he reacted in a way that was offended and honest. And I like that. And I like that with all the attempted butt grabbing and ogling and everything else, that the women who are the object of that had a pretty strong showing of boundaries around yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and eventually got respected, kind of. I don't know. It Let was also like by, you. by murdering everyone. Yes. <laughs> well, there you go. Let me also remind you, just, just so you have it in your head, mm-hmm. there were three dogs in the movie. Yeah. None of them were harmed. None of them Two of them harmed. got fed. That's true. So, yeah, well, now I'm thinking about that Doberman who didn't get any snacks. That's true. That's sad. Okay, but uh, so I'm trying to stay focused here. So <laughs> I, I would like to say, I think normally I would give it a 3.75, mm-hmm. but because this was a gift from our listeners, I up oh. it to a four and a quarter. Wow. wow. Yeah. Half a point of respect. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's what your respect is worth to us, listeners. Yeah. Half a point. Half a point from one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I also will thank the listeners. Well, I also will thank the listeners. Yeah. yeah. I give, you know what? I give the listeners a million stars. Oh. Wow. I'm You're welcome, gonna, listeners. I'm not going to go that high. I won't either. <laughs> oh, but minus one because you didn't send us a new review. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Where's our respect? Where's our respect? Where's our respect? respect? (laughs) Oh, I was going to say, as we said before, we appreciate all the comments. Maybe we said that on the live video and not on the episode? Correct. That's true. That is what happened. We appreciate all the comments. Also, check us out on Instagram a month ago. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> to see our, yeah. Is it still on there? Will it still be like in our... It'll be there for uh, a day. But didn't we save it? You might be able to like to highlight highlights it? or whatever. Oh. I don't know. We'll have to check hey, out check how out Instagram Hey, check out our Instagram works. page and yeah. see if we successfully saved this. <laughs> yeah. I hit save. Maybe it didn't work. <laughs> uh, but also, like, you can contact us anytime if yes. you want to say nice things to us. Oh, or yeah. tell us anything, right? Hello at totesregal.com. Send us an email. Yeah. Or tweet at us. Or, or tweet, tweet at us. us. Yeah. Or, or slide into our DMs. Instagram no us. one's slid into our DMs. Yeah, hey, that, you don't have to that. slide. You can polite, politely yeah, step the in. the door is open. Or at least unlocked, and you can knock politely and be like, do you mind if I bother you in your DMs right now? Yeah. And we'll be like, sure. 
And by we, we mean Dan and Beth, probably. Yeah, because I don't <laughs> know how to tweet. I also don't. I mean, I know, I understand the concept of tweeting. Like, I get it. I don't know I how don't to access our account, for one thing. Yeah. Either of them. I don't know how to get into our yep. Instagram. I don't know how to get into our Twitter. Yeah. And I, I think well, they've done that well, intentionally. Beth and Dan. Fair. <laughs> they no, did it intentionally. I mean, you can you think very they easily out? do it. Yeah, I mean, the credentials I mean, are shared amongst us. Yeah. I true? will tell you yes. honestly that sometimes someone will tweet and I'll think, oh, I want to respond to this. Yeah. So I go on Slack and I discuss it at length with the other three hosts yes. of the show. And they're like, you should just tweet that. Right. And then I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll go do that. And it's very hard. Uh-huh. I don't know why. It's, you just, but it doesn't work the way I think it should. Okay. So. Get it, Jack? It's what? Twitter town? Yeah. Oh, forget it, Jack. It's Cloud oh, Town? I was like, get at Jack. Jack. Oh, Jack, get Mr. Twitter, right? Jack. Jack yes. Twitter. Hey, oh, hey. Uh, I mean, we'll talk shit about him for absolutely. $10 million. Hey, someone who doesn't like Twitter guy, send us money. We'll do a show called Jack. Shit. Jack. Oh! Shit. Uh... Colin Jack so stupid. <laughs> <laughs>